Good morning, everybody. I'm back from my break. It is still day 201, August 24, 2023, and it is 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And we shall see what happens with the treadmill. So I know I said I was going to go walk around my house really quick to look and see uh, what I said I was going to look up to let you guys know in this video. And um, I didn't see anything. Plus, my computer wasn't on. So it must have been something that would have been on my computer that I would have seen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and incline this up and see what happens. Okay, so we'll try to get it up to in climb of 15 first, and then we'll go from there. Um, so, well, well, I did want to look and see where that nail shop was. Oops. Okay, I didn't do that. Um, but like I said, I just realized I didn't turn my computer on this morning, which I usually do. It's one of the first things. Um, but that's okay, because I can just check after. And then I'm good on time. Like I said, I do have an appointment today. And so... First things first, I make sure I get cleaned up like right after this. That way I don't have to rush time to leave. Let's see if we get to 14. Okay, so we're up to 15 and let's see if it'll get up to speed two. Um, so this video will just be like a random topic and then I do um, have a little bit of a topic, I guess. What is coming up next for possible travel plans, ideals, things like that. Um, so we'll get a little bit into that, but let me get this thing up to speed first. Um, like. I said, I know I say it a lot now, but I have to get the treadmill um, up to, like I said, speed two, and I have to see what is it going to do in the first five to six minutes. Okay, that's the determining factor. Um, if it's even going to work or if I'm gonna have to uh, like start it over and only incline it up to 10. So um, we'll see, and then we'll go from there. So let me, let me take care of all of this first so I can kind of like focus and it already starts squeaking on video one. Oh my gosh. Okay. So video two, which is this video is for day, um, 264. Okay. So you guys know I'm trying to knock October out and then at some point or the other, I can start working on November. Okay. Cause November has at least one week for sure. Maybe two. Um, I've already taken care of the beginning of October, kind of set me back a little bit to take care of the end of October, that's okay because I'm back on track with that. And as you guys know, my main concern is just that this treadmill continues to work long enough to at least get through the days I need to make it for in advance for October. And who knows, uh, I don't know you guys, maybe by, uh, Maybe by the end of October, there might be another treadmill to be here. I don't know. I really don't know what to, to do at this point. Um, besides uh, spoiling it, like I said, underneath the belt. So, yeah. But we shall find out. Because it's already started to squeak. Um, we're at 1.6. We're at 2 points. We're at uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds. And I'm like, come on, I just need it to get up to two. And my left big toe, you guys, has been hurting for like the past, I don't know, three or four days. Um, I don't think it's gout because if it was, I think I would be in a lot more pain. And I don't know what I would get gout from anyway, so um, I know there's different reasons you can get it. But I think it feels like I, uh, how do you say that? I don't know how to stub, hit, I guess, my toe on something. And I don't know what. All right, so we're at two, we're not at five minutes yet. So we'll see what happens in the next minute or so, a couple minutes. Okay, so, um, for the topics for yesterday, for video one, video two, today's video one, kind of finished up with that. I just give you guys an over idea of pricing. Like I said, it really doesn't cost that much to just start trying to do something to your nails if you wanted to learn how to do them. Um, oh, I smell, I smell that smell. This time it smells like it's burning. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna say the tremble's gonna go past 10 minutes. Okay, because I can smell it. That has to be the treadmill. Um, 
the fact that they got oiled twice in two mornings in a row, you would think would help. I'm wondering if that's the motor. Um, I'm not sure. And uh, the one day that, since we have an appointment, my husband will be coming home early, there's meetings in place of him, you know, doing whatever else he has to do for work. So he's not here to smell this. So I can have an idea of what he thinks it might be. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's a treadmill and hopefully not, but maybe the main motor. And then I don't know if this treadmill has an incline motor, but it might. And I didn't know until about three or four days ago that there might be a separate incline motor. I thought it was all run by just one. So hopefully that's not what that smell is. Because I believe that would mean I should just stop it. So I guess I'm kind of like pushing my luck a little bit right now. Okay, so um, a possible comedy show coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna mention like who it is or if I'm gonna wait until we get closer to that time of who we're going to go see, but we have that coming up um, planned so far. See how that goes for six minutes. Um, November is usually like just going somewhere to eat for Thanksgiving. We don't cook um, for Thanksgiving or Christmas, even though Christmas we usually stay at home so that like other people can go on their vacations and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we, I don't know, we're going to our friend's house or what's going to happen with that. But we kind of made a tradition to where it was just uh, go someplace where they're having a nice Thanksgiving dinner. So that's in the plans. Um, a cruise. I don't know. Maybe for next year. But you guys, uh, I think it's like on the ocean. <laughs> and I was building myself up to a river cruise. And so talking to some family members, I think their cruise they want to take is on the ocean. And they're like, oh, the ship's so big, you can't even tell you're on it. I'm like, oh, no. You know that you're on the ocean. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know, yes. And I might make the mistake of going up to the top deck and looking out. That would be probably a very bad idea for me, so maybe I'll stay away from where I can actually see the water. Um, so, yeah. But that's a possibility. Um, this thing is skipping already. Like I said, I don't know, you guys. I don't know if it's even going to make it to 10 minutes. But um, let me see if I... I don't know if I should pick my feet up more. And I know that when I was tired, we would hear like this noise, like, this, like that. And that would be my shoes scraping up against the belt. So yeah, maybe I need to pick them up more, like I said. But now thinking about the friction and everything as well. But yeah, the Viking cruise. I thought on a river, I'd assume it's safer. And um, I really want to see like the palaces and castles and stuff. Um, it's set in my mind to see that. So um, I'm going to see what can we do price-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do have the time uh, share thing. There goes my nose. I actually was not expecting that. I should have been. But maybe it's just burning smell. It kind of went away a little bit. But now it's actually coming back more. So... I think my nose just caught a whiff of it. Uh, same thing happens to me like when I smell tar and stuff like that, something strong. My nose just acts, um, reacts to it. So yeah. But I do want to see them take pictures, stuff like that. By that time, my phone may be close to empty. I want a lot of memory because the Z Fold 2 is just, or the Z Folds, period, don't have memory cards, right? And I miss that, I miss having a memory card. So, um, I don't know. I don't even know if we'd be able to take like a my book. Um, I would say if we have to fly to the place first, 
um, the porch or whatever you call it, right? A dock, I guess. Um, I'm thinking my book and the carry-on, maybe, so that it doesn't get tossed around. So I'll see. I just want to be able to have the memories. And I am really bad about making a photo album. Um, it's just so convenient to have it, like on a my book or in the uh, phone. But the thing about it is, if something happens and it erases all the files, there goes all the memories, and it's just memories of what I saw. So I think if we do do the Viking cruise within this next year or so, um, that I want to print those pictures out. And I know they have like those little portable printers. So I don't know. But now I feel like I'm adding more. Because my thought process is what I bring in my book if I had a portable printer within ink. Got to worry about ink, right? When you run out of ink, what do you do? Um, just keep them on your phone and then print them out later when you get home. When you get more ink in the little portable printer. So I don't know um, what will be the easiest thing to do. But I do want a photo album of that, if nothing else. Um, Budapest, I don't know, is been talked about, but really not quite sure that trip will happen and if it would be like within a year um, that might replace the Viking cruise, I don't know, or maybe it could be like a two year planned out thing. So not really quite sure about that one. Um, that's been more so just talking about it. So we'll see about that. I don't really know anything really about the place. I think the name is a combination of two cities or something. I don't know. Um, I at least have been able to tell you that and I don't even remember that. So that's not good. So yeah. But it looks like a pretty place. So there's that. Um, I'm picturing Greece, but I don't know. I think if we went to Greece, I believe he's been already anyway. That wouldn't be like for another three or four years, I'm thinking. Greece just gonna pop into my mind. Of course, going back to Rome has been discussed. Um, I believe, oh no, that wouldn't be the same trip. Yeah, going back to Rome has been discussed. I liked it. Um, November was not really my favorite time to go. And I really don't want to get caught up in another earthquake. There was a 4.6. And it was so funny because our family back in the US, uh, we were looking online as well there in Rome, but one of them actually found like how strong the earthquake was. What was it? Um, so yeah, I think it's called, it's not the magnitude, right? Something like that. So like, oh wow, it was enough to, <laughs> to sway the building that we're in. And so, or at least, well, yeah, the building had to be swaying because the couch I was sitting on the swing. So yeah, sitting there in Rome, watching friends in earthquake. And debating on if I should even wake up my husband because he wouldn't care. He was like, well, nothing we can do. Back to sleep, you know? <laughs> uh, so that's supposed to be me impersonating him, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know I don't get to kind of work for that, right? I like doing impersonations, but that wasn't a good one. So, um, yeah, Romans have talked about. Um, London was also talked about as well. Two or three days in Paris, maybe two, I don't know. And then back over to London. So we talked about that because we were only there overnight. So I got to see the hotel we were in, I think the Blue Edwardian, and then the ride to the airport. And then the ride to the hotel, but it was dark. So I think I was mainly like, oh wow, their freeway, highway, whatever you want to call it, it's on the left side too, that's so cool, right? Obviously it would have been, but you know, you see the stuff on TV and you see me in the streets. Um, 
I was just in a movie or TV show where I see where they've driven on the freeway. You never really thought to me that it would be on the left side as well. And it was, I remember saying, like, oh, so cool. We're supposed to be over there, right? Um, to travel that distance on a freeway and be on the left side was, it was, it was really, really cool. And we were in one of those, like, old Sherlock Holmes type cabs or whatever you want to call them, you know, the black cabs. And um, so we had the steering wheel, you know, was on the right side. And I was like, I'm sitting behind the driver on the right side. And we're on the left side of the freeway. You guys, I was just totally, <laughs> totally in a zone, right? Um, you know, you see something you've never seen before, and then the rest of it, like I said, you've seen on TV, and you're just like, this is, this is crazy, right? So we didn't get to really see, like, Buckingham Palace. I didn't get to see the guards, stuff like that. I believe there's more than one palace there. And I didn't get to see either one of them. So that'll be fun. And I'm not going to mess with the bars. Um, no. They're trying to work. I can only imagine that heavy thing on their head. I just, I'm going to leave them alone. I don't even know if I'm going to snap pictures. I mean, I want to get to the palace. So how can you kind of like not get them in the picture? But I do not plan on walking up to one of them to take a picture. No. So... That would just be cool just to see it. And then I think when we left, um, I'm trying to think. I believe we flew from Rome into Heathrow and flew out of Heathrow back to Jersey. So uh, my Paddington Bear, I think I showed you guys early, early on in my walk that I got him. And then I read like his little tag and he has a little suitcase. I have to get the one with the suitcase. I mean, come on now. I mean, I'm in London. How more often can I really get for the bear? So they did have smaller ones like I talked about before. And I was just like, no, I want that one <laughs> in the suitcase. And then <laughs> my husband was like, honey, I don't think it can fit. Because you know, all you have is your carry-on. And then if you don't have like a backpack for your personal, um, what do you do? Uh, poor Paddington got stuff to my carry-on, okay? Let me tell you. I was like, he'll fit. I promise I won't get anything else. And I didn't really get, like, a lot of stuff. It was mainly uh, souvenirs for other people. And so I didn't really have a souvenir for myself. I mean, usually I go for something small, like a keychain. But I can't have any more keychains. It's too many. And so I really wanted to Paddington. And he came home with me. Um, he's so cute with little red rain boots. I was like, oh. So yeah. I think now it would just be more sights, pictures, stuff like that. But when? I'm not sure. Honestly, I thought that was a plan for the end of this year. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Um, my neck. Ooh, my neck is itching. Hopefully something didn't bite me when I came back out here. Um... Or I didn't get bit when I was outside the other day, and I'm just now feeling it. Like when it takes a minute for the, it's really like get irritating. So yeah, Neosporin, some cortisone, something's going on my neck. I probably should have scratched it because I did full month, so it's not good. But yeah, that some of the future things we're planning on the win is what we're not sure of. So we shall see when and where and then if I have makeup days for those which I'm sure I will when am I going to start I need specific dates right so yeah and then also what I want to do is I've been entertaining the idea I've talked about it before getting a calendar and marking on the calendar what day it is. And I think I told you guys at one point, I was thinking about hanging it out here, but I don't know how the focus on the camera will go on the phone. Me moving and then it being there. I probably want to have it where I can look at it. So maybe we'll go here. And then now that I have my fan out here, then like I guess I don't know if it's going to pages a little bit how that's gonna work out 
with the focus. So I definitely don't want to have, I've had some videos up here on the other treadmill where almost half the time the camera was like going in and out. And I was like, oh great, I didn't even know it was doing that. So that's why I haven't put much up out here. If this seems gonna stay out here, I want something more to look at than these walls. I mean, I have a lot to look at over here, but just a little area, you know. Right now it's pretty plain, it's okay. But yeah, so I can mark and I can just like flip up like, oh yeah, that is the day. Um, Cause I've had to make a couple corrections in the past week, right? But we've got a lot of stuff going on, so. That's pretty much it. I can't really think of anywhere else. One place I don't think we'll ever go, we've talked about it, was uh, Scotland. Maybe, possibly Ireland, one of the two. And uh, I don't know if that will happen. So that one will be kind of a surprise. And then also, test me will be kind of a surprise. And if we go back to Rome, I do want to go to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa and Pisa. So I think you bullet train to Florence. And, uh, but the train, I think, going to Pisa is not a bullet train. So I'm not quite sure, unless you buy each ticket separate, how that will work. Um, I just remember seeing the signs and then finding out like, oh, there's a train that goes there. But of course, our day trip was to Florence and the bullet train got us there in an hour and a half. So I think regular time they said would have been three hours on a regular train. So I'm happy that they put those bullet trains there. I'm sure so is everyone else that commutes within Rome and those different cities, they're all, you know, connected. So, that might be a place. Um, I don't know. I might get there and be like, oh, it's just a tower leaning. But I'm wondering how big the tower is and how much does it lean. So, that's my interest. And then once I see that, I might be like, oh, look, a gift shop. You know, <laughs> it'd be totally distracted from something else. So, I guess the travel part of me would like to travel and start to come back with the getting there. No, but you gotta get there somehow, right? So, I think that might be a possibility if we go to Rome, maybe. I don't know if we would do Venice for Rome. I believe regular train is six hours, I think. Bullet, I believe, is three. So, possibly, maybe, I don't know. But there are some other places in Italy I'd like to see, so. These are just, some are things we really talked about, kind of start looking at prices. Some things are just kind of like a, a maybe, a replacement for it if we don't go somewhere else. But I'm not sure. And then believe it or not, like I've still never been to Niagara Falls. And I know there's US side, there's Canadian side, right? So maybe that, that, uh, Boat. I can never think of the name of it when I need the name. Any other day, I'd be able to say the name of it. And the name I'm thinking of, I'm like, no, that's a little character from Robin Hood. <laughs> so I don't remember what that boat is called, but I don't see myself getting on it unless they give me a life test. So <laughs> you're like, really? Yes. Safety first. Like, I'm so serious when I say that up here. I'm, I'm not kidding. Okay, anyone that knows, I'm like, oh no, we know you're not kidding. If you don't know me, if you don't learn anything else about me, yes, I'm that cautious person. So, sometimes there'll be a situation where we're like, well, you know, if X, Y, and Z happen, there'll be nothing that you can do. Watch me. Yeah. <laughs> there's not too many situations where you can say, oh, there's nothing you can do. Or, like, do you really think that you would, if there's anyone that would survive, and trust me, um, such as I want to be by myself, um, I'm not going to just give up, right? So, you're like, what do you think will happen? I don't know. All I know is going out on water like that that's that deep, a life that just makes sense to me, I'm just saying. 
Right, it could be a part of my whole attire. I don't care. Pose, cheese, cheese, snap, snap. I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking, I think, I, I could be wrong. I don't know, maybe this is just a movie. I thought they gave them to you anyway. If I want to say no, well, what are they going to do? Tell me I can't wear mine? Um, <laughs> I don't know. They would have to have a pretty strict dress code. And uh, I'll put it on under my shirt. I'm just saying. And then they'll just think that I just, I'm set size. I'll get creative. So, even on that vacuum cruise, I was like, <laughs> I talked about that too, but I was kind of serious. So, you guys might think, oh, you're a little too cautious. We have a little. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> that's the point of the life fest. So, um, that's exactly what I'm trying to accomplish, right? So, yeah. Uh, anyone that tells us like that, they never think of it from that standpoint, right? So, yeah. If it's your, what if it wasn't your time? So, if you had the life fest, you, <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, right? Y'all feel me. So that's just my, my thought process. And it may seem a little extra, but uh, I have a film over that says, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So yeah, that's us. that's me. Um, if they're not going to say I can't do it, then <laughs> because my sister pictures of me in one. I'm not picturing like a light purple or like that blue. Uh, maybe a multicolored one, like a ombre type color thing. I don't know, something. Uh, so, part of me is joking, most of me is not. There is my nose. Oh no, twenty six minutes, twenty six seconds. We are almost done with this walk. Um, what are some places you guys have been that you really, really liked that you went? Doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't matter it could be U.S. It could be international. Let me know. Um, if there's recommendations of a specific airline, we like Southwest, but Southwest doesn't fly everywhere, right? So, um, places to eat. Keep in mind, please, I have a lot of food allergies, a lot. Okay, I'm very basic. And I'm happy with, if it's chicken and rice, that's fine. Uh, steak, as long as it's cooked all the way. And like I said, rice and green beans. I'm very, very, very basic. A lot of people ask me, how do I eat? And I'm like, carefully. Um, there's a lot of things I can't eat, corn and stuff like that, you know? So I have enough variety to where I'm satisfied. But yeah, um, attractions, places to see. I'm afraid of heights. So just make sure it's not up like super high and I will be on solid ground. Um, if you're going to suggest one of those glass deck things, absolutely not. No, because <laughs> of how high you got to be up and what it hangs over. Like I said, some of this stuff might have to happen if you went up there, right? So I'm pretty sure the view is amazing, but me and Heights, we're not friends. So yeah, and if it has a little teeny windy road on the side of the mountain, as if guardrails are going to help, but with no guardrails, and they have to like pull to one side to let another vehicle pass, that's a no as well. So I'm not limited down places you guys are like, oh, I went here, you talk about that, go see this. You know, if there's a castle and you would have enough time in the Viking cruise to go see it, but it's up high, I probably won't go to it. And plus I don't want to miss getting back on the boat anyway, so yeah. Um, just make sure it's reasonable. <laughs> uh, if you're adventurous, I'm not. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure you have some awesome pictures and memories. But yeah, and I don't do odd foods. I'm not into that. Oh, I want to try. I can't think of the word. Um, this type of no. Mm -mm. Besides being allergic to a whole bunch of stuff, I have rules for food. You guys know the rules. Let's go over them. Besides what I'm allergic to. A lot of people say, you're picky. No, I don't want to go to the hospital, okay? But aside from that, if I can't identify what it is, if it smells funny, or if it looks funny, then I'm not eating it. If I, oh, and if I can't pronounce the name of it, no. Okay, so <laughs> just letting you know. 
Um, and seafood, absolutely not. I'm highly allergic off the table. Uh, anything looking back at me, and I don't care if it's that dead, especially if it's alive, absolutely not. So, yes, I, uh-uh, I'm not that person. For anyone that's like that, that's great. I hope your stomach did well with it, but nope, not me. So, pretty basic, and I love bread. Oh, I love bread, so. And then I love cheese, but me and cheese are getting to the point where we part ways almost all of it, so. And I'm discovering even great value ice cream from Walmart. Uh-uh, I was not feeling good last night, and I realized that's what it was, so. I believe that's off the list of what I can eat. So, my list, not to my choosing, but my list is getting smaller. I think my lactose intolerance is getting worse. I might actually start being allergic to like the milk itself as well. So, yeah. But, like I said, there's still plenty of other things. Um, pastries, I would have to say, I'm not a custard fan. Mm -mm. It just, no, especially like the regular one, no. Uh -uh. That's not in my taste buds. So, yeah. But other than that, I mean, donuts, things like that. But I haven't had a parfait in a while and I like it, but I don't know if I can have a parfait anymore. Just, I think there's yogurt in there, right? Something like that. So, things like that. And it's like cut fruit, strawberries, and stuff. Almost like a, let's say it was a cherry pie, maybe with some strawberries or something. But yeah. And I can't do meringue, obviously because of the eggs. So, other than that, if there's anything that I have not listed and you're like, oh, this is good, but it doesn't sound like you'll be allergic to it, try it, let me know. I always like to hear about other people's experiences, where they go, what they ate, both, like I said, the places they visited within that place, how long they stayed, what's a good time of the year to go, um, things like that. Preferably when it's mainly sunny, not hurricane season, <laughs> excuse me, and you never know though, right? So just the time of the year that usually will be a good time to go. Um, so yeah, suggestions I am definitely open to, especially if you travel a lot. So we are at 32 minutes, 28 seconds, and I'm gonna tell you I'm happy because I wanna take a look at my neck, see if this is a bite, and I'm ready to get cleaned up, and I'm ready to go look at some frames get some glasses. I don't want to come back to the same frames, but my main concern is my eyes first. What are, where are we at? Am I back to 2020? Am I 2030? Uh, which eye got a little bit better? Did it ever get any better? Or am I so close to the same that the doctor might even say it's not even worth getting glasses? You know, who knows? So, we shall see. But I'm excited. Can you tell? Yay. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's just, I'm up here, I'm like, I'm sweaty, you know. But um, I'd be happier uh, sounding if I wasn't up here. I've been waiting for this day. So, that, and looking up that sore. And then I can tell you guys, was it there? And did I find it? And here we go. So yeah, those will be like updates for tomorrow. And you guys will see my glasses tomorrow. But it's the same frame, so I'll just be like, huh, it's the same, do it as well. But, like I said, I'm kind of on the fence of whether or not I care. Like I said before, if I have the ones with the magnetic clips, because how often do I really use So, I mean, they're outrageously priced at Walmart now, so. Um, like, my pair was there. There are only a couple, I guess they're not that popular anymore. But some of the prices of the ones like the Nike frames, the, uh, I don't know if I saw some Steve Madden's. I can't remember. There was one at Walmart. They did tell me, I do have an update on that. They did tell me that the lens would be shaped like the lens of that glass. And it's kind of cool because it's not like a octagon or 
a hexagon, but it kind of reminds you of that going toward the bottom. So you still have like that rectangular type here, but going here, they kind of angle in and then go across. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I don't know how to describe it. A hexagon without one of its sides. Um, a pentagon, but the top would be flat. You know, that's like a house shape. Well, actually, no, because that'd be a square. You see here, here, there. Yeah, no, that'd be a square, I take that back. So like a hexagon without one of its sides. But it's really unique shape, and I was like, I want something different, and those are frameless. And the only thing I want to go about frameless is that they kind of lose their shape. They bend a little too, too easy, and so it's easy for them to end up being crooked because they don't want to hold their form. So that's my only, only thing about that, is that if I were to get made there, those, uh, my lens is thick as well, and I don't know if that plays a part, but I found myself kind of like doing this or kind of bending some back. I did like them. Frameless ones were really pretty, but especially for the price they are, I don't know if I would want to deal with that. And who knows? Maybe if my prescription wasn't as thick, maybe I wouldn't have that much of a problem. Because what's really holding them together besides the little screws? And the handle's nothing, right? So I'm going to see. Hopefully where we're going, they've gotten some new stuff. Um, it's been a while since we've been in there. I want to say it's been longer. I know longer than three months, maybe six. And so... I'm really hoping they got some new stuff and that they're able to maybe shape the lens to how they want them. So they've got more color tints, but I'm not going to do that. Transition, I haven't, I have one pair and I didn't like it. It didn't transition back fast enough. Okay, so I think I've shared this story, but if not, I'll go ahead and share it to just walk out the rest of the time, it was worth 37 minutes. Okay, so I think my first and only pair of transition glasses, right? I was at work and I was in Bakersfield. And so I was outside with the kids and my glasses obviously transitioned, they got darker, right? So the bell rang and the kids were standing there and we were talking and stuff like that, but they had transitioned so much. If I were to tell you they were as dark as this treadmill, I would not be over exaggerating. And so when the bell rang, I was like, okay kids, it's time to come in. And it was so funny because they were like, Chicha, we're over here. And I turned and I picked up my glasses and was like, oh, there you guys are. They laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. We fell out laughing. And um, I know other people were probably wondering like what happened. There was like a total of six of us between me and the kids and we laugh. We laughed when we got to line. Uh, I think I, we laughed like into the classroom. It was so funny because they literally, they were like right there in front of me. And um, I didn't know because I think they were, you know, they walk around, stand there talking to you, stuff like that. You might go word off and play, come back. But they were all literally in the same spot by the time the bell rang. And it's like I was looking over here where they were they had moved over to here and I didn't see that they did that. So the problem was, is if that wasn't bad enough, we get back into the classroom and my glasses wouldn't transition back. So they stayed that dark. It was uh, so dark that I couldn't read anything. And these were my, these were my actual prescription glasses. These weren't prescription sunglasses, right? So, I had to ask who in the classroom could read because they're so little. And, uh, you know, they're like, I can, I can. And I was like, okay, you guys are going to take turns reading the pages because the only way I can see is if I pick up my glasses, but then obviously everything's going to blur, right? I wear them all the time, but it's mainly for reading. And so, yeah, for the rest of the day, the kids had to read out of the teacher's edition book. And do the like instructions <laughs> and then I just had to like make sure the kids were doing it and you guys 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I think it took, if I were to tell you it took over an hour, almost two hours, for the glasses to transition back to normal, or to be light enough to where I could see, I wouldn't be over exaggerating. So, this was like in the middle of the day, for their, their time, it was like 11 or 12. We still had until like two o'clock in the afternoon or three. And yeah, I can see that whole entire time because they didn't transition back. So it was funny, it was cute, and they were really helpful. But they, I don't know, either they don't transition the way they show on TV, or maybe I should have known for a brand I saw that was on TV. And I thought, what if they're just doing that for advertisement? Um, I want to look into some that transition better, and I never did. Um, so yeah, when I mentioned it, my husband was like, remember what happened the first time? You didn't like them. I was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. But we are at 40 minutes, 28 seconds. One minute, one minute. I told you I'm tired. One mile, 0. 0.31, 140 calories. We shall attempt to stop there. You guys know I'm constantly pushing this thing, like stop, stop, stop. Funny to me, it stops when it wants to, right? And then when I wanted to stop, you guys see all the time I'm fighting that stop button, so. Yeah, but I'm ready to get to the rest of my day. And like I said, if I do run to Walmart to see about the RX Ready frames, um, I can always return them. So we'll see, because I think where we're going, there's only like a 30 day on the frame, so like that's kind of odd, yeah. So. I don't know. And then I think with Walmart, I believe you have like a warranty, whatever you want to call it, coverage on your frames for I believe it's possibly a year or something like that. So yeah, they do like adjustments, things like that. So I gotta see. I've been in there, but I went in there specifically looking for something else for the uh, magnetic clip ones. And then I saw some other ones but I didn't ask them about any of the RX Ready ones. So I believe they're like in their own little category, unless they kind of faded out as well due to just a lack of popularity. So I gotta debate if I wanna do that because if I don't see anything down there, um, I have to have my glasses made and like I said, I want different frames. And I don't know, maybe I'll go try and, I think I'm looking over that way to see if I can see the wall, but I'm kind of picture, I always picture stuff in my mind. Um, I have other frames. And I'm wondering if there's a pair that I really liked and if I just, you know, didn't go back to like keep it for the following year, if I want to go back and set. So I might have some frames I'd like enough to do again, but knowing me, I want something new. And I would prefer frameless if they were just more sturdy. So I will see. We shall see. What do I come back with tomorrow? Well, you guys, that's it. I will see you guys, like I said, tomorrow. And tomorrow may or may not be a double day. I'm not sure. Um... I'm trying to, like I said, get October kind of out of the way. So we'll see what takes place. But I'll see you guys later. As always, stay safe and thank you for watching. Bye.